In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how we can put the 3D lashes from the makeup template and we can import them into any pre-existing project file that you might have. Okay, so first you're gonna to wanna to open up the makeup template and we're just gonna save it as it is. Um, so save it as something like makeup template blank. So you can close that down and look for the project folder and within it you'll have the textures and these blocks here, but yours will probably only have two and you can just, you can just check that it's the right one by looking in the textures and it will have the eyelashes and they'll look like this. So then you just wanna grab this .ar block file and drag it into your assets of the project that you wanna be working on that you wanna add these lashes to. So change the name to lashes and then just right click and instantiate and they'll appear in the scene. You can see them here. And then, and then you're just gonna wanna drag the face tracker into the patch editor and then create an eyelid patch. Then you wanna go over to the lashes and just start creating patches for all of these outside, center, inside, all for the left ones. And then underneath those, you can do it for the right ones. And then behind these, I'm just gonna put the eyelid rotation left and the eyelid rotation right. Then we can start connecting them up. So you can just copy what I do, but it's pretty simple if you read them and then the center. Oh, I've noticed, so they're not connected. I need to drag the block into the face tracker. Okay, they were just, there we go. Okay, so for the rotation, you wanna get the openness, the left openness and get a transition and then put the start X axis at 40 and the end X axis at minus 20 and then just zero out the Y and the Z axis. And then create another one for the right eye and connect that to the right eye openness. And then you can see that not only do they move with it, but they also rotate when you blink. Once you've got the lashes selected in the scene, you can go over and change the color and the opacity and the length just by changing these settings. I've actually set up a Patreon, so you can head over there and for the small price of a couple of dollars, you can support me and get early content, early videos. So thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit like. Subscribe if you haven't. If you make an effect using this tutorial, tag me on Instagram, at onamatters. I'd love to see what you guys are making. And um, stay tuned because there's a lot more coming.